the last bit I want to cover is about how to increase your employability. So we've talked about making sure your CV and your cover letter are up to date, talked about making sure your, you know, how you interview well. But this is what can you do right, maybe right now or over the coming weeks, months, and maybe a couple of few years while you go through university to get you to where you want to be. And the key to that is courses, work experience, volunteering, all those things. Yes, you've heard it all before, but there are so many online courses available at the moment um, that are definitely worth you researching. So if childcare is a thing, you know, then I would suggest that you're signing up for a child, an online childcare course. There are things like the Common Core Skills course, which helps with, which you need for your Ofsted. There's our course, like an introduction to childcare course. Um, there's all, there are so many courses available. Then there are things like if you're working with children, things like having your paediatric first aid, sign up now, go on a course, get that done as soon as they can start running them again, make sure you're there, make sure you, because if that's what you want to work with children and you're sending your application in for a job and you don't have a huge amount of experience, or even if you do, the parent can see that you've actually like been investing in things. There are safeguarding courses you can do. Um, there are online cooking courses you can do. There are meal plans you can download. There are so many things that you can do to enhance your employability. With nannying, you can also look into kind of the Ofsted side. It's a bit more structured. It basically means you're you're regulated, um, which for families just shows commitment. So definitely do that. If you're looking for other things, so depending on what's the industry that you want to go into, it's a similar thing. It's finding those online courses. It's signing up for that stuff. It's getting that certificate. It's giving that back. So if you, again, back to children, if you want to work with children, then I would definitely suggest you go and start volunteering. Church groups, a great one. Even if you don't go to church, go volunteer. If you want to work with kids, you know, you've got to do it. Put up a sign in your village, you know, knock on people's doors, get out there and push what you want forward. If you want to say you want to kind of go into legal, then go and, you know, ring, ring around, like find out who are your parents' friends who are lawyers, find them. Siblings' friends, anyone got anyone training doing that kind of thing? Is there a law firm that will take you for a day's experience? Is there an online, you know, introduction to law course that you can do? What are the things that you can do that show passion? Can you volunteer somewhere doing research for um, a campaign? Can you, you know, is there somebody who works pro bono who needs um, support doing kind of admin or whatever? Like the point is, there is always a way to get yourself with the skills, with more employability behind you. And you just have to find it. Those are the people that I want working for me. Those are the people the companies want. People won't get up and go. They won't start self-starters. They want people who want to be better than they were yesterday. And the only way you're going to do that, particularly right now, is getting out there, doing your research on Google, doing the legwork and trying. Because nothing is given to us. We don't, we're not owed anything by this world, okay? We don't, we're not owed a, an open door. We're not owed a fast track somewhere. We are given body and the mind and therefore we have everything we need to go for some, go after something. So identify what that thing is and start doing the research to increase your employability. And lay it all out on your CV, include it in there. The things that relate to that job, all right? you and just always um always be yourself i know we've talked to, i mentioned it about with the video cv and the personality but really that's what people employ like that's what i look for i look for the person that smiles from ear to ear when i when i you know invite them to an interview and that comes in and has that natural energy and that you know goes for it and that is what i want i want that personality and that's what everybody really looks at, is personality. Um, so be true to yourself, and that's where you have to step into being your own self. No point trying to be someone else, because it's really obvious when you're, some, you're not your own self, and then you're never going to get the job or whatever if you're trying to be somebody or not. If you try to be yourself, try to be yourself, if you are yourself, then 
that is going to increase your employability above and beyond everything else. So go and like look at the template CVs and cover letters. Download the um, oh download the templates. Look at the examples, and I really hope they help you put some structure behind that. But just remember that it's not about pl applying to loads and loads and loads of jobs with one thing. It's about taking the time to do the research to apply for that thing. And it's about applying for the thing that you really, really want. And that's where doing your eight dreams um, in lesson six is going to have been really helpful because it's going to be identifying where you want to go. What is the life that you want to be leading and therefore what do you want to be doing and how are you going to get there? So everything we cover throughout the entirety of the Make Your Bed Challenge is to help you show up and live your best life as yourself. I, you are so worth it. You are so, you are fantastic. You are unique. You are your own person. I'm so proud of you for still being here. I'm so proud of you for putting the effort in. Don't give up on yourself now. Keep going. Keep striving. Keep fighting. Um, and if I can help with anything, then you know where I am. Look after yourself and keep telling yourself that you are worthy of the effort.